well away from that a session of civil society organizations has accused president william ruto on his persistent critic of the judiciary president ruto's remarks were directed at judges who accused them that they were operating with impunity to sabotage some of kenya kwanza administration plans the linda jami initiative has taken a swipe at the president for planning to undermine the independency of the judiciary as felix wanjala now reports what we will not allow is judicial tyranny and judicial impunity that we will not allow president william ruto's remarks on judiciary has continued to draw contamination in political landscape the president attacked the judiciary on what he termed that it was sabotaging his administration's plans among them was the construction of affordable houses and the rollout of healthcare program <laughs> Now the Operation Linda Jamie Initiative has aligned themselves with various opposition figures, legal experts and civil societies, accusing President Ruto on what they say the President is breaking the rule of law. President's statements on policing the judiciary therefore shouldn't be taken lightly as it negates his commitment to oversee the effective judiciary. In fact, the President's statement can only be interpreted as attempt to directly control how judiciary dispenses its mandate. The initiative has proposed the separation of powers without undue influence or threats. This comes after Busia Senator Kiyom Tata accused the president of trying to undermine and compromise the integrity of the judiciary. The decisions the president has made are grave and strike at the heart of Kenya's constitutional order because judicial independence, upon which the rule of law rests, requires judges not to be subject to pressure and influence. Linda Jami is partisan to the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and therefore firmly believes in the rule of law and independence of the three arms of government, namely the executive, the legislature and the judiciary. Therefore separation of powers should be achieved without the influence, threats or any other means to diminish the authority and the independence of others. Linda Jami Initiative has called on groups that support President Ruto's remarks to identify corrupt judges through a commission of inquiry. That uh, some of those people talking about Admit Nasir, the guys like Paul Mwite, they might be beneficiaries of those corruption. Maybe they have been corrupted or they have corrupted some judges. Let everybody come together and bring evidence. Felix Wanjala News Outlook, Tandao TV.